Thank you so much for being here, Scott. I'm really happy to have you. Can you tell us a little about who you are and why you decided to partake in this event? Sure. So, um, uh, I'm Scott Alderman. I graduated from Whitman in 1990. And uh, I, uh, I live in Seattle and I help manage an investment fund called Trilogy Equity Partners. And uh, we do a lot of early stage investing and a big part of what I do is, is spend my time meeting with entrepreneurs, hearing their ideas, and um, some number of those we, we, we actually partner with and, and invest in their company and I spend a lot of my time helping those companies be successful. What do you look for in a good pitch? What separates a good pitch from just an okay pitch? So I think of a pitch as kind of a three-legged stool. Um, and the three legs are people, the idea, and the deal terms. So with people, which you know I think is the most important, um, you know, I'm evaluating, uh, uh, do I feel like I can work with these people? Um, are they really excited about what they're doing? Do I feel they're capable uh, of doing it? And, uh, you know, things never go as, as planned with, with, with a startup. So uh, I'm wanting to get comfortable that that person's going to be able to zig and zag as, as, as the company grows and, and, and be adaptable. In terms of the idea, um, uh, you know, there we're talking about what is the problem they're trying to solve or the need they're trying to meet, and is that need large enough to, you know, to make a company? In terms of deal term, deal terms, that often means, you know, what, uh, how is the person valuing their idea, and what percent of the company am I going to get for for making an investment in that company? I'm, I'm assuming in this context, you know, in the context of a five or seven minute pitch, that's probably not going to be the focus. Sure. So because the pitch is so short for our pitch of competition, how much do you recommend that each student spends on pitching the actual idea? And how much do you recommend that they spend on the desirability, the feasibility, the viability of the idea? Well, I think there needs to be a balance there. Um, I don't think you need to go into tactics uh, you know, in a five or seven minute uh, uh, pitch of, of exactly how you're going to execute on your idea, but um, I, 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 you know, do want to get a sense that you've been thoughtful in sort of scoping out the market, uh, scoping out the competition, and um, that you, you know, you either have the, the resources and the team or you know how to get the resources and the team to you know, execute on that idea. Sure. So what's the secret to grabbing someone's attention during the pitch? I, I think it's all about the people. I really think that um, you know, when, when, when judges have sat through you know, 15 pitches and they're, you know, they're digesting that and trying to stack rank um, the pitches, they're going to be thinking about the people. And who am I most excited to help be successful? And so I would really in, encourage folks to make sure you know their personality comes through, their passion for the idea comes through, and 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 also the you know uh, providing a convincing you know argument that that they've got the capability to to execute on the idea. Why is learning to pitch an important skill to learn in college? Well, you know I think it's a skill that. It's, it's kind of a life skill that uh, you, you know, particularly um, at the college stage of your life, you don't necessarily have a chance to, to, to do a lot. So I think it's a great opportunity just to um, learn to sell in a compressed, somewhat stressful situation because I think that's something, you know, you'll be able to use over and over again. Other than pitching an entrepreneurial business idea, how do you see people using pitching on a more day-to-day -day basis? Everyone needs to sell, whether that be, you know, to raise money for a new company, it, but it can also mean to, uh, you know, to secure your budget for the next, you know, fiscal year. Uh, uh, again, I, I think it's, 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 it's a skill set that, that we all need to have and we can all use on a regular basis and, and uh, it's, uh, you don't always get sort of a, a, 
opportunities to practice it where there aren't a lot of negative consequences. So um, I think it's a great opportunity. Most Whitman students might not know that they have an idea inside their heads uh, or that they even want to become an entrepreneur. So why do you recommend that they still come and do the pitching competition? Well, I think there's probably lots of, lots of students who can picture themselves one day uh, becoming an entrepreneur or, or trying to raise money for an effort that's important to them. And, you know, that's not something that you just wake up one morning, decide you're going to do and go out and do it. It's something that, you know, you can build towards. And so I think getting some, um, some early practice in is a great idea. What's the best pitch you've ever heard? Oh, man. That one I'm not going to be able to come up with off the, off the top of my head. There are pitches where, um, you know, we can get really analytical in terms of the idea and the addressable market and, gee, you know, is this, a, is this a double or could this be a home run? Sometimes someone walks into the door and uh, they may have a formal pitch or, or they may not, but you just come away feeling like, I want to bet on this person. It, and that could be because he or she, you know, uh, uh, is, you know, particularly well equipped for, to, to solve that particular problem. But usually it's because of the passion. And you just, um, you, you get enveloped in their story and, and want to help them be successful. Well, thank you so much for taking some time for this interview. I know that can't be easy answering all those questions on the cuff, but we very much look forward to seeing how it turns out. Terrific. Good luck. Thanks, Ed.